Well, we are counting down to tomorrow's solar eclipse. More than 31 million people from across the country will be in the path of totality. And a local high school will be part of a NASA experiment during the eclipse. This is pretty cool. The team of students will send a weather balloon tens of thousands of feet into the atmosphere to take measurements during the eclipse. Alyssa Sperling, teacher at Springside Chestnut Hill Academy, joins us live this morning to tell us more about the project. Alyssa, good morning. Yeah, good, good morning. morning. Good morning to you, Alyssa. So first, tell us about this project. Like, what kind of experiments would the balloons be carrying? We're part of the nationwide eclipse ballooning project, so we're one of 53 teams across 75 institutions that are launching across the path of the total solar eclipse. So our balloon is carrying a bunch of experiments. We have magnetic field, ozone levels, tracking data. We have a bunch of cameras, including ones taking 3D images. So we're looking forward to getting a lot of atmospheric data during this eclipse. What do you expect to learn from the retrieval here? And have you done it in the past? Yeah, this is not our first launch. We launched during the annular eclipse in October. We launched from Texas, and I see you have some video up of that. That was a really great experience. And we've done some practice launches, so it's not our first balloon. And we're hoping to get information about what changes there are in the atmosphere during the eclipse. So how does the weather change? How does the light change? How do the clouds change? And some of that data is for us and our own projects, and some of it we're sending back to the main people running the project at Montana State and NASA so that they have data from all across the path of totality. You know, so I remember being in, in high school, I believe, or maybe I was uh, earlier on in college uh, and experienced a total solar eclipse. So I can only imagine what your students are feeling. How are they doing going into what we're all about to experience tomorrow? We're all so excited. None of the students have been in totality of the eclipse. All of the faculty have, so we kind of know what's coming and they don't, which is cool. The annular eclipse was a preview for this. It's not a full eclipse, so we got some darkness and some temperature change, but nothing like what we're looking to experience tomorrow. We just feel really lucky that the timing for this project worked out. And amazing that you are just one of several dozen participating schools and organizations. That is really an honor there, Alyssa. Absolutely. It's so great. Thank, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you again coming up uh, in about an hour. Go grab some breakfast. <laughs> Get a cup of coffee for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Relax a little bit. We appreciate you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, Alyssa. And don't forget to join us Monday at 2 o'clock for a CBS News special report, Total Eclipse of the Heartland. Then at 3 o'clock, we'll have live coverage of the eclipse here in our area and on our streaming channel. You can watch it live on CBSPhiladelphia.com on our app or on Pluto TV.